Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you very much for having me. I very much appreciate it. Okay. Now, can you tell us the thinking behind your private member's bill? Well, for instance, it's part of the uh, Truth and Reconciliation's uh, 94 recommendations. And so what I'm trying to do is put something on the table that the government then can do and use to introduce their own legislation in order to move this file forward. Because I think Canadians need to have an understanding of our past history, show a demonstration uh, of our maturity as a nation state here in Canada, and show that we're able to recognize the terrible things that have occurred in our history and, and what we're doing in order to reconcile what we've done in the past and make a better future for each and every one of us. So, for instance, uh, you know, 150,000 First Nations and Métis and Inuit children were taken, stolen from their homes. Um, they had their languages stolen. Uh, and as Murray Sinclair said, uh, it was a cultural genocide. And I think Canadians need to uh, come to grips with that and to do so in a public way. And so this is why I'm trying to ensure that, for instance, a day once every year, Canadians do take that moment in order to recognize our past histories. Okay. Well, how do you think Canadians, you know, the grassroots Canadians, going to benefit from a day like this? Well, it, like any other day, like Remembrance Day, it's a day to remember our history. It's a day to remember something that important that happened in our collective history. And I think it also can give us a moment to reflect on what we have or what we should be doing for the future. We currently uh, continue to have issues with child and family services across this country. There's more kids in care today than there ever were during the, uh, the peak of the Indian residential school era. And so it gives us a moment to pause and to reflect. And I hope average Canadians, uh, I hope my uh, fellow citizens will take that moment and take that day in order to, to really uh, think about how they play a role, what they can do to make the place a better place, how they can advocate and demand politicians make a difference. And I think we're starting to see that. But I'd uh, like to ensure that it's uh, f uh, framed in a legislative way in our parliament, that it becomes part of the national consciousness, not just on the outside, but truly on the inside of our institutions. Okay. Well, do you ex plan on it being a statutory holiday, or is it just going to be sort of a memorial holiday? It's going to be memorial, a memorial holiday. Um, I actually have another bill in, in the works for something else, but this is a... I'd, I'd, if I want uh, people really to take that day and uh, schools uh, to be still in session and take a, a, that moment to really reflect as well. Uh, and I don't want people to take the day off and to relax and go to the beach, but to really sit there and reflect in our cities and in our rural areas, in our institutions, both government and in our private uh, lives, in our private companies, All right. about what's actually going and what actually happened in our history. Okay. Well, is there anything within the bill other than mention of the day? Of course, uh, I have a whole uh, a preamble uh, where we discuss the history of it, where we cuss, discuss ge cultural genocide, uh, where we discuss the United Nations Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, um, as well as um, uh, how ca the Canadian government needs to continue to support the idea of reconciliation okay. and to continue working towards it, and how it's also an issue that affects First Nation, Métis uh, nations, and Inuit peoples, and also how uh, languages uh, play right. a role. Well, um, sir, you know, uh, sometimes it's pretty hard getting a private member's bill through the House. Um, are you expecting any challenges? I don't expect any challenges, but I do expect that uh, since I'm a little bit lower on the list for debates, uh, that it might be a little bit difficult in this Parliament. But uh, what I'm hoping is the uh, Minister of Heritage, uh, Melini Jolie, and as well as the Indigenous, Indigenous and Northern Affairs Minister, Carolyn Bennett, We'll use this as an example and put something on the table so it's government supported and it can move quickly through debate and get it, sells on, get, get it on the books. All right. Thank you so much for your time and telling us about your private member's bill. Good luck getting it through the House. Thank you very much. Tapui Kitwam.